Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Make up containment. I create a foundation. Chapter 21. The Foundation's Airborne Assault Company left some troops behind to deal with the aftermath. Chen Feng and Tony, and the wounded soldiers first reached a part of the V-44X Blackfish transport plane to return to the base first. On the way, a V-44 was dispatched to find Dr. Ethan. The AC-160M aerial gunboat actually returned directly to the Foundation base on Paradise Island in Los Angeles. It seems that after the gunboat was summoned, it was directly assigned to the Foundation base controlled by Chen Feng. Chen Feng thought it was a one-time reward, but he didn't expect it to be permanent. The speed of the V-44X transport aircraft is very fast. As a vertical takeoff and landing rotor transport aircraft, its cruising speed can even reach 1038 kmh. After 10 hours of flight time, the V-44X Blackfish transport plane carried Chen Feng and his group back to the Paradise Island base in Los Angeles. Tony is very interested in these high-tech mechanical equipment of the Foundation. The rotor transport aircraft V-44X Blackfish is much more powerful than the V-22 Osprey currently used by the White Eagle Federation. Not only is the cruising speed almost three times that of the Osprey, but the range is as much as ten times that of the Osprey, and the Blackfish is larger in size and carries more capacity. Experts look at the doorway, many engineering technology products of the foundation, a genius like Tony will give him a lot of inspiration. After all, whether many technological products can be researched or even perfected, starting from scratch, and providing ideas is extremely important. As for Tony, Chen Feng didn't intend to keep it a secret. In fact, it is necessary for the foundation to attract a talent like Tony. Compared with Tony's combat power as Iron Man, Chen Feng feels that scientific research talents like him are more important to a faction's technological improvement. In the original normal worldview of the Marvel Universe, due to various reasons, Tony's steel armor has not been developed to the extreme. Maybe it's because of the guilt of producing and manufacturing arms. Compared to his friend War Machine, Colonel James's Mark I and Mark II, he is not so keen on strengthening the weapon system for his own iron armor. Instead, it is Colonel James, nicknamed War Machine. The armor modified by the military of the beautiful country is often equipped with a large number of weapon systems. Although many of these weapons are a bunch of junk and cumbersome to Chen Feng. If Tony can open his mind, God knows what a powerful steel battle suit he can come up with with his ingenuity and skill level. Therefore, in this world, there is no Tony who has not been freed from the shackles because of Dr. Ethan's death. His talent value is very huge. If we can cooperate with Tony, even if the foundation can obtain the technology of devices such as palladium and arc reactors, it will be greatly improved. Or let Tony help develop the exoskeleton that is assigned to the foundation's regular troops, which will increase the combat power of the troops by huge amounts of. Chen Feng, like Nick. Fury, valued Iron Man very much. After all, only faction leaders like Chen Feng and Nick. Fury will understand how important such technical talents are to the improvement of the faction's technological ability. Since they were prisoners of war in the Atala prisoner of war camp together, Chen Feng, Tony, and Dr. Ethan naturally became friends. Coupled with the shared suffering, and the experience of containment operations together, etc., Tony. Stark probably will consider more cooperation with the Foundation. If S.H.I.E.L.D. wants to win over Stark to establish the Avengers Alliance, it cannot bypass the Foundation now. Chen Feng will not prevent the establishment of the Avengers Alliance, it is still very important for Tony to establish the Avengers Alliance with S.H.I.E.L.D. After all, without the Avengers Alliance attracting hatred and integrating the superheroes on Blue Star to defend the world, the Foundation would not have the time to grow with peace of mind. But it is necessary to ensure an Avengers alliance that is friendly to oneself and can reach cooperation. I didn't expect your base to be on Paradise Island. Ah, is it really okay? Let me visit your secret base. After seeing the Foundation's secret base, Tony seemed very excited, and worried whether there would be some taboos in it. After all, he had lived in Los Angeles for so long, and he didn't even know that there was a secret military base on Paradise Island. But Chen Feng generously said that there is no problem. Definitely no problem, didn't you say that Stark Industries is going to be a sponsor of the foundation? As Chen Feng said, 
he took out two bottles of iced whiskey from the onboard refrigerator, threw one over to Tony, and opened it on his own. Compared to Stark Industries becoming a sponsor, I prefer to reach a cooperation with Tony. Stark personally. Tony looked at Chen Feng in surprise, pointed to himself, me. Yes, in my opinion your value is much greater than Stark Industries, you are a genius, Tony, although you have a bad reputation. The whole federation regards you as a rich second generation with nothing to do, playboy, but I know you have this talent. If you can help the foundation, maybe you can help the foundation a lot in future containment operations. I don't know if you, Tony Stark, are willing to reach a cooperation agreement with the foundation. Tony heard that his eyes were a little moist, and he was completely dazed by Chen Feng's chicken soup. After all, he has been living under the shadow of his father, Howard Stark, and the entire Federation just thinks that he is only relying on his father's talent and rich family, and does not recognize him. I just think he is a rich second generation in Playboy who relies on his father for food. Unexpectedly, he could be recognized by the Foundation like this, and Tony was moved by meeting a confidant. Definitely, it still depends on who said such a thing, if Chen Feng is just a passerby on the street, maybe it will only be regarded as flattery. No problem, I am honored to be able to help the Foundation. West of Luo Shengdu, Foundation Paradise Island Base. Congratulations we all came back alive. Chen Feng, Tony and Dr. Ethan clinked wine glasses to celebrate their escape. Chen Feng drank vodka and cola with ice in a bullet cup and ate a cheese Angus beef burger with big mouthfuls. He couldn't help feeling emotional. This is literally the best meal I've had in a while. Yes, in the caves of Afghanistan, what is eaten? Now is the time for Chen Feng to relax. After eating in the restaurant, Chen Feng drove the base's commuter car and took Tony and Dr. Ethan to visit the base. Except for high security areas such as the containment area, other areas are normally open to them. Chen Feng also wanted to familiarize himself with his foundation base by the way. To be honest, even if he followed the internal navigation of the base, he would still feel that the A-level base of Paradise Island was extremely huge. Even if he drove Tony and Dr. Ethan around in the base commuter car for more than an hour, he only saw half of the area as if he was just looking at the flowers on horseback. Tony is more interested in areas such as research institutes and engineering stations. Tony will come to work and borrow these places in the future, and he finds that many of the equipment here are not inferior to those in Stark Industries. If nothing unexpected, Tony will then make a truly perfect Mark I iron armor based on the Mark I prototype. Dr. Ethan was more interested in the medical center in headquarters and visited it. Just when Chen Feng took Tony and Dr. Ethan to pass the research station, engineering station and medical center, a system prompt sounded in Chen Feng's mind, finding S-level research talents and B-level medical experts. Then he saw a bunch of buffs on Tony's head. If Tony carried out projects here, he would not only get various inspirations and scientific research blessings, but even drive the entire research team to gain experience bonuses. Tony is an S-level scientific research talent, but Chen Feng was not surprised. What he didn't expect was that Dr. Ethan was actually a B-level medical expert recognized by the system. According to the system's classification of talents, even an F-level level is equivalent to the knowledge level of a master's degree. F-level beginners, E-level proficient levels, D-level professional levels, and C-level professional levels. When they reach the C-level professional level, they are already equivalent to ordinary academician level masters. After that, the B-level is the expert level, the A-level master level, and the S-level legendary level. After reaching the B-level, they are high-level talents who have won the Nobel Prize. As for the A-level, they are already top talents. It cannot be judged by common sense. A person's technological ability is stronger than a country's top team. As for the S-level legendary level, it can be said that one person can promote the progress of the entire era. After the tour, Tony will definitely go back to his Stark Beachfront Cliff Mansion in Marbury, Los Angeles. As for Dr. Ethan, Chen Feng didn't even need to invite him. He offered to join the foundation. Dr. Ethan, who no longer had any relatives, planned to spend the rest of his life in the foundation as a doctor. That is to say, Chen Feng picked up a B-level medical expert for nothing, think about it. 
Under such crude conditions, Dr. Ethan was able to perform a difficult operation with simple instruments and tools and saved Tony's life. If you change to the real situation, no matter which country a doctor of his level is lost to, it will be offered as a national treasure. After this visit, Chen Feng also roughly confirmed some functions of this A-level base. The scientific research station is mainly used to analyze various storage objects and storage materials, as well as scientific and technological research, and a place to climb the technological tree. The engineering station is a facility dedicated to experimentally developing new types of equipment. After the research station is completed, new technologies are used to realize them. The Mobile Task Force Training Center is a place dedicated to training foundation recruits into mobile task forces. There are also containment facilities, which are used to store various containment objects, where observation and research can be carried out on various containment objects. With the headquarters base, Chen Feng can use the rumor degree to purchase various new foundation support through the E-level authority he just applied for. For example, the troop cards of the mobile task force, the basic vehicles of various foundations, aircraft, tanks, mechs and so on. Everything needs to spend rumor points to exchange or build, which makes the rumor points that Chen Feng managed to get rich now seem to be ineffective again. According to the system's prompt, after the formation of the mobile task force, he will not have to go into battle in person for many low-level containment tasks. He would then be able to send many of the tasks to the mobile task force, and Chen Feng would be able to turn his attention to various priority containment tasks. According to the game, it is to send the troops out on an expedition, and he is responsible for pushing the map himself. In the base where everything needs to be rumored, the only thing that does not require money is the ability to apply for D-class personnel from the foundation to conduct experiments. The D of this D-class personnel means delete deletion. According to the foundation's worldview, these people are all people who have committed serious crimes, or they are clones specially used to test the containment. Chen Feng plans to have Dr. Ethan as the head of the medical department next. It's just that he still needs a lot of people to manage such a large base. For example, he can't find the chief scientist of the scientific research station and the chief engineer of the engineering station. Tony can only say that he borrowed it, and he will definitely host the establishment of the Avengers Alliance in the future. And he doesn't have an adjutant, so it seems that he can only find a way from the system. Just when Chen Feng was annoyed, he didn't know that the SHIELD headquarters had caused an uproar. Since the Foundation's containment operation ended, SHIELD has compiled Foundation data collected by Phil Coulson's agent team. At the moment, regarding the existence of the Foundation, as SHIELD Director Nick. Director Nick Fury was completely numb. Since the Marvel world of this world is a movie world, the SHIELD Director of this world is naturally the well-known director of the Black Braised Egg. Nick. Fury has always wanted to build S.H.I.E.L.D. into the S.H.I.E.L.D. of humanity, and make it the strongest extraordinary organization in Blue Star. Although S.H.I.E.L.D. is a country whose responsibility is to protect the human civilization of Blue Star, the White Eagle Federation is one of its main sponsors. In addition, the director including Nick. Fury is all federal, so S.H.I.E.L.D. naturally inherited the beautiful Chinese style that the world's police are used to. The first thought is that the foundation is an unmanageable threat. This idea is the same as that of Phil Coulson, who first thinks that he is the strongest secret extraordinary organization in the Federation and also the strongest human being, and is the shield that protects the Blue Star. Most of the other organizations are civil organizations, which are illegal in the eyes of S.H.I.E.L.D. However, the Foundation encountered this time has another identity, the National Strategic Security Bureau. When Nick. Fury saw the name, his brows furrowed. Nick. Fury's assistant, Pierce, is actually a member of Hydra. At the moment, he is also looking at this detailed intelligence summary brought back by Phil Coulson. Pierce pretended to be ignorant and asked, Sir, isn't the National Land Strategy Bureau said to be a unit that has been idle for a long time? How did they become a foundation? Hearing Pierce's question, Director Black braised egg threw the document on the desk and explained lightly. In fact, the National Land Strategy Bureau can even be traced back to an intelligence agency established in the 19th century. It was formally established in the 1960s after an exercise called Project Black Sun. 
It is said that the exercise is a nationwide exercise to simulate a complete and devastating blow to the Federation. All the information at that time was sealed, and even SHIELD only knew part of the situation. The actions of this department are very secretive. It is said that this department will be fully activated only after Washington launches a secret order called Order 51, in order to save the Federation in the face of destruction. Hearing this, Pierce understood. So the Foundation is an even older and mysterious organization than SHIELD. Maybe it's even like Cidella. And we can't take hostile measures with such a secret department. Yes, if the Foundation is the National Strategic Security Bureau, they will be friendly forces. We cannot exclude them like we exclude civilian threats. If there's an analogy, we're kind of like the relationship between the Navy and the Army. Pierce looked suddenly enlightened. If this is the case, should we, S.H.I.E.L.D., do anything about the containment? Hearing Pierce's words, Nick. Fury said with certainty, definitely have to do something. Then Nick. Fury continued very strongly, the containment is too dangerous. Although we and S.H.I.E.L.D. are allies, they haven't shared enough information. We must create SHIELD's own containment department. You must know that the Foundation has even contained the 939th object. It is conceivable that there are so many supernatural events that we don't know about in the entire federal territory. This is a serious dereliction of duty on the part of S.H.I.E.L.D. Just looking at the video data of the 939 attack on the Atala armed organization, we can see that the destructive power they caused was astonishing, even comparable to nuclear weapons in a sense. We must not let something like this go unattended. Pierce's eyes lit up when he heard that. As a double agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA, Pierce is very interested in this sudden foundation. Since HYDRA is parasitic in S.H.I.E.L.D., if the containment can be obtained through S.H.I.E.L.D., wouldn't it be possible to dominate the world? After reading the influence materials, he is very interested in the 939,000 throated beast. If he can get a few of them, he can domesticate and reproduce them artificially as biological weapons. It's scary to think about it, as long as Hydra weapon Ezesh it and releases it when the time comes, it can cause a devastating blow to the enemy at a critical moment. Since Nick, Fury wants to form such a department, how can Hydra be missing? The time has come to deploy manpower. Sir, I don't know who you plan to let lead this department. I think there are a few agents in the combat department who are quite suitable to preside over the overall situation. Nick. Fury waved his hand directly. I plan to let Phil Coulson be the director of this new department. Phil Coulson. This guy is not from Hydra. There was a flash of coldness in Pierce's eyes. After all, they have experienced this containment incident. And I plan to let Agent Natasha Romanoff get in touch with the Foundation more, if I can get some more information, it would be a good thing for S.H.I.E.L.D. If Chen Feng knew that S.H.I.E.L.D. wanted Phil Coulson to set up a special containment department, he would have died of joy. I just killed the Atala organization, but S.H.I.E.L.D. sent me a pillow. He really has to thank the Black Stewed Egg. There are new rewards to brush. West of Los Angeles, Foundation Paradise Island Base. In the high-level dormitory of the base general, Chen Feng can finally receive various system rewards with peace of mind. The first reward is naturally the ability training of the E-level agent. The combat ability of an F-level agent, if converted, is equivalent to the general level of the top special forces outside. In a simple analogy, it is equivalent to the level of a special soldier of an ordinary Navy SEAL. And the reason why his fighting power is so strong is because of the support of equipment such as the agent service gun and the foundation agent suit. Without equipment, Chen Feng would definitely not be able to defeat Widow Sister and Sky alone. For a quasi-task force like the Foundation Airborne Assault Company, the combat effectiveness of ordinary soldiers is equivalent to the training and combat level of second-rate Special Forces soldiers. It's just that compared to the conventional special forces that specialize in anti-personnel training, they have also added a lot of combat training with a lot of containment. This is why Foundation Airborne Assault Companies are better than normal human troops against containment. But this level of fighting is absolutely unable to cope with the intensity of the various non-human fighting that will be faced next. Therefore, Chen Feng puts the top priority on improving his own combat ability and improving the ability of the Foundation's combat troops. After all, an F-level agent is nothing more than an agent who has been trained by the Foundation for several years and has just passed one or two containment missions. 
Do you want to receive level E agent ability training? Receive. After receiving the E level agent ability training, it is indeed a qualitative leap compared to the F level combat ability. The ability training of an E level agent, if you want to convert it, is a proficiency level, which is equivalent to an elite veteran who has experienced many battles in the top special forces. Comparing an E-level agent with an F-level agent, an E-level agent can easily eliminate a battle group composed of an F-level agent, because they all have a wealth of combat experience in their minds. And E-level agents have received more combat training and mastered more combat skills. It can be said that an E-level agent has already reached the limit that ordinary people can achieve. After absorbing the ability training of an E-level agent, Chen Feng found that his body has also been strengthened to a certain extent, but the improvement compared to the F-level agent is not that great. After all, the physical quality of an E-level agent, strictly speaking, has only reached the limit that a mortal body can achieve, and there is no way to surpass the shackles of the human body to reach an extraordinary level. Chen Feng didn't pay too much attention to the improvement of physical strength, after all, the improvement is more about various combat awareness, combat skills and experience. Perhaps Chen Feng's current combat ability, if he doesn't use the agent service gun, can barely compete with a mortal hero like the Punisher. Definitely, this is just referring to the Punisher's combat ability. The most outstanding thing about the Punisher is not just the combat ability. But this is not over yet. Chen Feng extracted the extraordinary sense of smell and hearing given by the previously contained 939,000 throated beast. With extraordinary sense of smell and extraordinary hearing, the two senses of his nose and ears instantly reached an extraordinary level. Chen Feng's sense of smell has become extremely sensitive, and he can even track smells through his sense of smell, as long as the smell does not exceed a radius of 20 kilometers. Supernatural hearing means that he can keenly hear sound wave fluctuations that humans cannot hear, and can distinguish extremely subtle sounds, even the sound of footsteps one or two kilometers away, he can hear them. After receiving these two abilities, Chen Feng felt dizzy for a while, and it seemed that his brain had become sharper. He guessed that his brain seemed to be getting some strengthening. If the brain of an ordinary person has accepted the supernatural senses, and the brain does not know how to screen and screen various information flows, then this person will definitely go crazy. Just like mutants, those mutants have gained extraordinary abilities, but many of them will have problems when their brains do not keep up with or get used to super abilities when they acquire abilities. For example, if you have powerful power and cannot control it freely, it may cause great damage. You may unscrew the door handle when you want to open the door. If you have an extraordinary sense of hearing and smell and your brain doesn't keep up, you will hear countless sounds and smell all kinds of messy smells sensitively. Based on this, Chen Feng judged that the abilities obtained from the system seem to have been harmlessly processed and can be used with confidence. But even if this is the case, the body will have to go through a period of adaptation before it can truly master the newly acquired ability. After the body was strengthened, Chen Feng planned to use up all the bonus draws. The system sent three extra lucky draws before, and Chen Feng spent 1 W7000 rumor points in one breath, enough for 10 extra lucky draws. Perhaps because he played a lot of mobile games in his previous life, Chen Feng is always sure that only 10 games will be released as guaranteed quality products. You have performed 10 consecutive extra gacha draws. You have obtained an F-level item, Radiation Elimination Ning. You have obtained an F-level item, a match-level HK416 assault rifle. You got a C-level item, Biochemical World, T-Virus. You have obtained D-level items, Metal Gear World, and Stalker Mecha. You have obtained a C-level item, Biochemical World, T-103 Tyrant Information. You have obtained an A-level Scientific Research Character Card, Biochemical World, Dr. Wilhelm Birkin. You have obtained an F-level item, a match-level AWM sniper rifle. The 10th company will be finished soon. The F-level items are all guns or common equipment that can be obtained in reality. They are useless at all. The only valuable F-level items are the radiation elimination ning in the radiation world. But the A-level scientific research character card, Dr. Wilhelm. Birkin from Biochemical World. This is a genius who independently developed the G-Virus. The director of the scientific research station, isn't he here? 
It seems that the 10th company can still get the guarantee, this time there is no loss. As for the tyrant data and the T-virus, they seem to be from the biochemical world, and the stalker mecha can be considered for the development of a replica. This is a single soldier bipedal small mech specially used for single soldier sneaking in the world of Metal Gear Solid. It is dedicated to special warfare stealth and is very suitable for containment tasks. Dong dong, there were two dull knocks on the door, and the voice of an orderly came from outside the door. Sir, the foundation has sent an A-level researcher over. After Chen Feng receives the reward, the system will send the reward support in a reasonable way. Chen Feng opened the door, and saw two orderlies standing outside the door. After meeting Chen Feng, the two saluted, Sir, the researcher sent by headquarters, do you want to see him? Chen Feng nodded, take me there. After all, Chen Feng took the Basie's commuter bus to the Basie's reception center. Chen Feng then saw a blonde researcher with glasses and a pedantic look on his face. Wilhelm Birkin, a genius scientist from the Resident Evil game world. On his own, he even developed the G-Virus, a terrifying virus with infinite mutation ability, but because he didn't have time to perfect it, the G-Virus was only a semi-finished product in the end. Don't look at Wilhelm. Birkin, who is harmless to humans and animals, and looks like a pedantic dead house. In a sense, this kind of researcher is more involved in scientific research, and he does not treat the experimental subjects as human beings, but usually as consumables but their actions can indeed lead to technological breakthroughs. If it was a normal big country, a talent like Wilhelm Birkin might cause an uproar, but this is the foundation, and his talent has become necessary for human beings. In the face of life and death, good and evil, ethics, as long as there are results, it doesn't matter. At the moments Wilhelm Birkin was wearing a white coat with a suitcase in his hand. After seeing Chen Feng, he stepped forward with a stiff smile on his face. You are the commander of the base, Your Excellency Chen Feng. I am an A-level researcher sent by the headquarters of the Foundation, Wilhelm. Birkin, I have brought the samples of the T-virus and the data of the tyrant. Chen Feng shook hands with Wilhelm enthusiastically, and greeted him, Welcome, Dr. Wilhelm, the base is short of suitable research directors, and your arrival is just like Shigur. I don't know what arrangements Your Excellency Commander has. Or what research direction do you want to designate? If there is no arrangement, I plan to continue to study the G-Virus. Chen Feng interrupted Wilhelm. Birkin said, Although I really want you to continue your research, we do have a lot of scientific research projects to carry out, such as the analysis of the 939,000-throated beast. I also need complete research materials for T-Virus samples, especially for human strengthening. And the research and mass production of the T-103 tyrant is also necessary. The work of the latter two should not be difficult for you, Dr. Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Birkin pondered for a moment after hearing Chen Feng's words. Although he wanted to continue researching the G-Virus, but after hearing Chen Feng's arrangement, he still prioritized obeying orders. Besides, he has never touched the contents before, so he is very interested in it. Wilhelm replied straightforwardly. In this case, I will obey your instructions. I will solve the research on the T-virus and the tyrant soon, but the research on 939 will take some time. No problem, the relevant scientific research personnel bases have been allocated, and you can set up your project team at any time. After arranging Dr. Wilhelm, Chen Feng looked at another useful reward, the Stalker Mecha, and went up for a test ride. The Stalker Mecha is a small mech about 1.5 meters high. As the name suggests, it is dedicated to special warfare stealth. It can walk or convert to wheeled maneuvering, traveling like riding a motorcycle. In addition to the anesthesia gun, the armor can also be equipped with equipment such as rocket launchers, 40mm howitzers, and airborne Gatling guns. Not only that, but it can also help soldiers carry at least 200 kilograms of supplies. It can be said that this kind of equipment is definitely a weapon for special operations. If such equipment is provided to real special forces, it will definitely greatly strengthen their combat ability. And this is still the most basic model. If it is improved in the future, such as adding logic systems such as artificial intelligence, it can make it perform certain self-discipline actions without manipulation. That would be even more perfect. Looking at this mech, 
Chen Feng suddenly had a bold idea, isn't Tony? Stark still there. Maybe it could be improved by having Tony come over and help parse the stalker mech. And finally after the perfected version is mass produced, Chen Feng can be used to arm the troops of the Foundation. The only ground combat force Chen Feng can use now is the Airborne Assault Company. As long as the entire establishment of the Foundation's troops is not destroyed, as long as they return to the base, they can get replenishment from the system headquarters and the establishment will be replenished. At the same time, the more veterans, the higher the combat experience, and the troops can also be upgraded. For example, the recruits can be upgraded to a mobile task force, and then continue to upgrade and so on. So Chen Feng did not immediately start a new containment mission, but dropped the task force to the mobile task force training center of the A-level base. There is a virtual training machine there, and he can enter the virtual reality for training. It only takes a week, and maybe he can get a mobile task force. At that time, Chen Feng will be more confident when he starts to perform the E-level mission. And at that time, he could also upgrade the troops and put the newly developed weapons into use. In that case, it is easier to obtain a higher task evaluation. This wave of fat has a lot to do with his getting an S-level mission evaluation. If the evaluation is too low, even if the containment is successful, the rewards one will definitely not be as rich as S rank. It has been half a month since Chen Feng led the team to successfully contain the 939,000 Ma Beast. During this period of time, Chen Feng did not lie down and relax, but instead devoted himself to high-intensity training and base construction. The Foundation's Airborne Assault Company has completed training after half a month of training at the MTF Mobile Task Force School. After half a month of training, this team has obtained the official task force designation. According to the air assault characteristics of this task force, they were named Mobile Task Force No. 001 by Chen Feng, and the unit code name was, Hell Paratroopers. And this Hell Paratrooper Mobile Task Force is a brigade-level mobile task force with a scale of nearly 2,000. The remaining more than 10,000 rumors were all used to exchange for Foundation support in the system mall. After obtaining the E-level authority, the quality of the products in the system has been improved, but the corresponding prices have also been increased, and some new products have also been added. Among them, Chen Feng spent a full 5,000 rumor points to buy an upgrade card for troop organization. A troop organization upgrade card can upgrade the organization of a troop, so Chen Feng expanded the Hell Paratroopers, which were originally only battalion-level organization with a maximum number of 500 people, to 2,000 people, becoming a brigade-level combat configuration. This is because only the Foundation's troop establishment recognized by the system will have monthly free supplementary soldiers and corresponding supplies, ammunition, and loss supplements. If the troops are not in the establishment, I'm sorry, Chen Feng has to find a way to add them. Considering the increasingly serious situation in the future, such as the Avengers Alliance where Loki brings a group of aliens to invade or something, Chen Feng still needs to be fully prepared. That's why he spent so much money to upgrade the paratroopers. After the completion of the training, the Hell Paratrooper unit has been expanded and upgraded, and the 8V44X Blackfish has become 20. At the same time, it also has two AC-160M air gunboats that can provide air cover at any time. Those vehicles have also been expanded to brigade-level configurations accordingly. Chen Feng organized those elites who had fought with him into a special warfare company. This special operations company is equipped with an experimental WL01 style stalker mecha that Tony found time to help develop and mass produce. At the same time, Wilhelm has also completed the basic analysis of the T virus, and is experimenting with T gene modifiers that can harmlessly strengthen the human body. The T103 tyrant is also being tested, but no suitable body has been found. Even if D class personnel are used for experimental adaptation, so far, Chen Feng has only obtained three prototypes of the T-103 Tyrant. Although he felt that the combat power was still not enough, Chen Feng had no choice but to consider starting a new containment mission immediately. Because after Tony Stark completed the production of Mark I and Mark II, the plot of Iron Man 1 has officially started. Now Tony has had a huge conflict of interest with shareholder Obadiah because of the announcement that Stark Industries has withdrawn from the arms market. 
Although Chen Feng is familiar with the plots, he doesn't need to interfere with these plots to create a butterfly effect. But this also means that Chen Feng has no way to grab Tony's wool for the time being, and let him develop the exoskeleton for the foundation. And if he doesn't contain it anymore, the foundation that has already condensed shield and hydra, as well as the eyes of various forces, will only be coveted by countless forces. If the foundation doesn't show its overwhelming strength, sooner or later, when a strong enemy comes, both Chen Feng and the foundation will be finished. The current conditions for opening the containment mission have changed from 1000 rumor points of F level to 5000 rumor points of E class. The price of the rumored degree has become higher, and it goes without saying that the difficulty will also be greatly increased, but Chen Feng has no choice. He delayed starting the mission until now because there will be a monthly promotion in the system mall. In this event, some rare and good things may be revealed, and discounts and promotions will be carried out to fool the rumors of the host's consumption. Sure enough, just as the time reached zero o'clock, a system prompt came from Chen Feng's mind. Ding, host, the monthly system promotion has started, and today's special product is a random special A-level character card. The A-level character card with an original price of 50,000 rumor points is now at a promotional price, and you can buy it with only 5,000 rumor points. A-level character card. Good thing. Chen Feng thought of the scientific and technological achievements brought by Dr. Wilhelm Birkin in just 15 days after the arrival of a villain who died only at the beginning of the Resident Evil game, but it has brought great improvement to the foundation. It can be said that he alone led the research team to develop something that may not be completed by a certain big country in decades. Thinking of the power of the A-level character card, Chen Feng exchanged the A-level character card without any hesitation. Ding, you exchanged a random A-level character card, and got a bionic humanoid from Nier's mechanical era, Juhar's Troop 2B. Juhar Type 2B bionic humanoid comes from a world called Nier Automata. In that world, Humans and aliens hostile to humans have long since been destroyed, leaving only the bionics created by humans and the mechanical life of aliens to continue fighting on the blue star. Yuhar 2B is also translated as Yorua number. 2 type B, or Night Blade No. 2 type B. 2B is the number, Yuhar is the name of the unit, and B usually refers to the combat type. The members of 2B's automatic infantry doll unit, Yorua, have no names and are referred to by code names. This is because the rule prohibits bionics from having emotions, although it does not prevent 2B from becoming a cool and calm character. Up. As Chen Feng, who played the Nier Automata game in his previous life, he knows very well that the combat bionic dolls of Uhar's army have extremely strong combat effectiveness. This just made up for the serious defect of lacking a qualified protection force around him. After all, he is facing the contained objects, and his power is still immortal after all. If there is an extremely powerful bionic humanoid protection, this can provide a great guarantee for his life safety, and it can also serve as a powerful deterrent. Sure enough, as soon as he bought the character card, Chen Feng's office door was knocked by the orderly. Sir, considering your safety is not guaranteed, headquarters has assigned you a bionic guard. She has come here. Do you want to see her? Let her in. The door of the office was pushed open, and upon closer inspection, a glamorous beauty in a black dress, silver hair, blue eyes, black eye patch and boots walked in slowly. A familiar Yuji voice came, the 2B combat dolls of Yuhar's army have been ordered to report to you, commander. It is consistent with the image in the game, but it seems that because of the reality, Chen Feng felt a great shock. Although she knew she was a bionic person, she looked exactly like a human being, or rather because she was a bionic person. So it looks too perfect, a flawless human female image. Because in reality human beings have not achieved genetic evolution or anything, there will always be various defects, but she does not. Just a matter of skin care and hair care, which might worry a normal human woman to death, will never be a problem for a bionic person like her. Even if you just gave birth to a child, you can immediately slash people with a knife alive and kicking. If this is a cyberpunk world, people who have no money to marry a wife will choose to spend money to buy a bionic wife to have children, after all, she has this function. The eye patch she wears is a combat goggle, and her main attack weapon is a large sword and a small sword suspended behind her back, White's Promise and White's Contract. 
That is the weapon carried by the body suspended on the back. Although it is a cold weapon, these two swords can even easily cut the armor of the main battle tank. In addition to melee attacks, there are three auxiliary pod robots floating beside her, which can fire bullets, laser lasers and small tracking missiles to attack enemies from a distance. Chen Feng raised his head and found that although 2B was wearing eyepieces, they couldn't stop her curious gaze. After all, she had never seen so many, human beings. Yohar Type 2B, or Yoroha Type 2B, it is said that in your army, it is forbidden to have a name, right? Yes, Commander, so you only need to call me by my code name. Chen Feng smiled slightly, but you belong to my unit now, from now on, you are my direct guard, 2B. If you behave well, I will consider giving you your own name. Hearing Chen Feng's remarks, 2B felt that his emotional module seemed to be inexplicably high. Or the soul of the machine is happy. Really commander, I can have my own name. Definitely, but the premise is that you need to prove your worth to the foundation. Chen Feng drew a big cake casually, but who knows that just the promise of a name made this android lady show full energy. I am looking forward to your heroic performance 2B. From now on, I will hand over my security work to you. At the same time, I also hope that you will use your communication module to assist me in commanding the troops during the battle. I will protect you with my life, commander. With a powerful bodyguard in hand, Chen Feng can finally start the containment mission that will cost 5,000 rumor points. Do you want to spend 5,000 rumor points to start the E-level containment mission? Yes. Ding, the E-class containment mission has started, and several weird murders have occurred in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of New York City recently. During the investigation, the police found that a large amount of evidence had been erased and all information was lost. Foul sent two agents to investigate the Hell block, but soon there was no news from the two agents. This unusual case has even attracted the attention of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Hydra. Start the mission and investigate the mysterious case of Hell's Kitchen. The case of Hell's Kitchen attracted SHIELD's attention all the time, and they immediately dispatched the SHIELD containment force headed by Phil Coulson. This is the first appearance of the SHIELD containment unit, named SHIELD. Anomaly Handling Force. At a murder scene somewhere in Hell's Kitchen, Natasha Romanoff and Skye, disguised as Fobler, frowned at the dead bodies at the scene. Detective Natasha Romanoff, the autopsy report is out, and the decedent died from the same 6.5 mm x 39 rifle bullet as last time. Hearing this, Natasha Romanoff frowned and fell into deep thought. Seems like they're using the same kind of rounds that the Foundation uses for assault rifles. Sky asked, Agent Natasha Romanoff, do you think this might have something to do with the Foundation? There is a certain relationship, and it may be that the murderer wants to lead us in this direction. After all, the Foundation has disappeared and become silent since the last incident. When Sky and Natasha Romanoff came to Hell's Kitchen, they found that in the Hell's Kitchen area, all the witnesses connected with the first few supernatural murders, even the NYPD police officers, were brutally murdered. And those murderers acted very professionally, even S.H.I.E.L.D., except that the autopsy showed that the murderer died from a 6.5 times 39mm rifle bullet, there was nothing to gain at all. Except for the MTFE-11 assault rifle used by the Foundation, this rifle ammunition of 6.5 times 39 caliber is used by no military organization in the world. This also made S.H.I.E.L.D. wonder for a while whether the Foundation was killing people and eliminating evidence. However, Widow and Sky, as S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who had in-depth contact with the Foundation, firmly rejected this speculation. Under the repeated requests of the two, Phil Coulson, who is a good old man, had to agree to the request of the two to come and investigate. It's just that they investigated for a whole day, but found nothing. All the evidence and materials collected from the first few decedents who were killed were destroyed just one day ago. It is unbelievable that the evidence of the NYPD was actually looted. The security guards and police officers guarding the police station on duty that day were all killed by 6.5 times 39 rifle bullets. Because of this incident, many centrists in S.H.I.E.L.D. began to suspect that the Foundation was behind the action. Pierce even suggested that Nick Fury issue an order for S.H.I.E.L.D. to submit a bill to Washington to thoroughly investigate the entire territory of the suspected Foundation. Strategic Security Agency. However, Nick 
Fury did not agree to this crazy proposal. Even if it was true, S.H.I.E.L.D. would never rashly declare war on the Foundation without judging that the Foundation had seriously threatened the security of the Federation. So the pressure came to Phil Coulson's side, and Nick. Fury issued an order to let Phil Coulson find out the truth of the matter as soon as possible. Not only Widow Sister and Sky, nearly a hundred agents from the entire S.H.I.E.L.D. anomaly handling team took action. Except S.H.I.E.L.D. got almost nothing today. Just as Sky was proposing to Natasha Romanoff about a beef sandwich from a recently popular roast beef rib sandwich shop, their radio rang. Here is agent number three of team three. Well, we seem to have found something different. The decedents who died because of supernatural incidents, they all participated in a mountaineering team in the Loki Mountains not long ago. Wait, who's there? While speaking, there was a burst of gunshots from Melinda May's agent. This is Team 3, there are casualties. We are fighting the enemy. Sky and Natasha Romanoff looked at each other, and then Natasha Romanoff kicked the accelerator, and the Cadillac customized by S.H.I.E.L.D. burst out with huge amounts of engine roar, and galloped towards the accident site. Melinda May's agent is in an old-fashioned apartment house, and the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents here have been crazily shooting at the attackers with their weapons. Watch out for the grenade! Agent May exclaimed. She just had time to kick over the dining table to use as a cover. The two Aegis agents guarding the door were not so lucky, and they were instantly swallowed by the explosion. The dense gunshots were getting closer and closer, and Melinda heard several attackers throwing two more grenades and shock bombs in, and then they began to shoot at the wounded and howling Aegis agent rifles. Just when Melinda was about to go, the widow's voice came from the earphone. Support is here. As soon as the voice fell, the ceiling was blown down. Caught off guard, the widow's sister fell from the sky, and her powerful physical skills knocked down the four attackers in an instant. What's going on? Are you from the foundation? Widow's sister looked at the enemy subdued by her in shock, and couldn't help blurting out. Because the enemies in front of them are dressed almost exactly like the foundation. Unexpectedly, the controlled soldier got stabbed violently after hearing the foundation, and spat blood at the widow, but she avoided it. Go to the fooling foundation. We are chaos splitters, if S.H.I.E.L.D. intervenes in our war, you will only be greeted with destruction. War never ends. After speaking, the attacker has taken in more air and less air out. Sky, who rushed in from the side, inspected the corpses next to him, and shook his head at the widow. They all died of poison, and none of them survived. Chaos splitter. Could it be the hostile forces of the foundation? Ding, S.H.I.E.L.D. encountered Chaos Splitters in Hell's Kitchen and gained 5,000 rumor points. Containment has been successfully summoned, and the New York District D-Level Foundation sub-base and 2,000 base workers and security personnel have been obtained. Obtain the Hammerfall Mobile Task Force Unit card. Obtain the Service Gun Upgrade card. On AV-44X Blackfish flying to New York, Chen Feng raised his brows when he suddenly received a system prompt. Chaos Splitter. What's going on, how did this organization appear in this world? The Chaos Splitter, according to the setting of the Foundation in the previous life, is a branch of the Foundation. Because of the bewitching of desire, it betrays itself. It stands to reason that there shouldn't be such an organization in this world. System, how can there be an organization called Chaos Splitter in this world? After hearing Chen Feng's interrogation, the system actually responded. It is detected that the host has obtained the E-Level Foundation authority, and the host can inquire about related consultations. The system has released information before, and this world has been eroded by the contained objects for decades. During World War II, an MTF mobile task force encountered a space-time storm and came to this world when it was storing a containment object. This MTF force was almost completely annihilated after storing the contents. The surviving mobile task force members were taken away by the Allied forces and the remnants of Hydra. Some task force members who came to the Allied countries assisted the White Eagle Federation to establish their local foundation, the National Land Strategy Bureau. And the task force member who was taken away by the remnant of Hydra happened to be a member of the Chaos Splitters. So this remnant of Hydra became independent from the Hydra organization, and after absorbing part of the technology of MTF, they formed the chaos splitter of this world. Hearing this, Chen Feng calmly opened a can of happy water, and continued to ask in his heart, then what happened afterwards? 
Are these MTFs still there? In the Global Strategic Security Agency, there is still a special task force member alive at that time, and others, including the Chaos Splitter, are also dead. Since then, the Chaos Splitters of this world have been in a state of hostility with the Global Strategic Security Agency. Because their existence is too secretive, they have not been known by S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA. So in terms of combat power, what is the combat power of the Chaos Splitters in this world? How does it compare to the Foundation I lead? Ding, an additional 1000 rumor information fee will be charged. It's really stingy. A system that desperately wants money, deduct 1000 rumor points, and tell me the information. Ding, I have received 1000 rumor information fees, the answer is that they cannot pose a threat to the host. After all, the chaos splitters in this world only obtained part of MTF technology, and they are different from the chaos splitters in the real containment world. They have no system support and can only develop weapons in reverse. After all, they are caused by the erosion of the world leftovers only. However, the ultimate technological direction of the chaos splitters in this world is biased towards biotechnology, which may cause certain troubles to the host. Trigger a new branch line, eliminate the chaos splitters in Marvel, and get corresponding rewards according to the number and degree of elimination. Trigger a new branch line to recover the assets of the Global Strategic Security Bureau. Every time you recover a certain amount of assets from the Global Strategic Security Bureau, you can get system rewards. Unexpectedly, there is such a cause and effect. The chaos splitters and the Global Strategic Security Agency in this world were unexpectedly formed by the butterfly effect caused by an MTF mobile task force that crossed during World War II. Chen Feng suddenly thought of the containment object and asked, System, that containment object, won't it also be counted as assets? There is no wrong host, the containment is also included in the assets, and it is the most valuable asset, but at this stage, you should consider the containment task at hand. At this time, Miss 2B came over from the cockpit, and said in that nightingale-like voice, Commander, the paratroopers of the task force, they will arrive in the suburbs of New York in 30 minutes. Let the plane land at the Foundation D-class airfield in New York, then send troops into Hell's Kitchen to investigate. Okay commander, I will convey your mission now. 2B is no longer just a bodyguard, she has the function of commanding the communication system, and even temporarily acted as Chen Feng's adjutant. Don't look at her current image of a delicate, gentle and elegant female adjutant, but whoever underestimates her will have to pay the price in blood. This is the 2B lady who is one of the ceilings of the Neil machinery world. Her combat power alone can easily deal with a modern heavy armored brigade. If she gets upset and hits your chest with a small fist, she can definitely make someone come true. Oni Chan exists. Chen Feng picked up the happy water and drank it down. Things are getting more and more interesting. The difficulty of E-level missions is increasing, but the rewards will be very rich. In a messy old apartment, the cleaner of S.H.I.E.L.D. is cleaning up the corpse. Phil Coulson rushed in with several agents and asked, how's the situation? Agent May sighed. The casualties were heavy. Although the number of attackers was not large, there was only a combat team of about 12 people in total. 23 of our people were killed, 6 were seriously injured, and 12 were slightly injured. If Detective Sky and Natasha Romanoff hadn't arrived in time, I'm afraid we would have suffered more casualties. Phil Coulson asked with a sullen face, have you found out what they are doing? They call themselves the Chaos Insurgents and seem to be an unknown force, but we can be sure that they want to get the containment. Not one alive. Sky shook his head and added, there are no survivors. They were very decisive. They took poison and committed suicide immediately after being captured. However, they seem to be at odds with the Foundation. Phil Coulson glanced at the corpses on the ground. The equipment of these Chaos Splitters is indeed very Foundation-like and their equipment is much better than that of ordinary S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Maybe I should apply to Director Nick for support. In addition to the suspected contained objects, there are also these unidentified and highly threatening chaos separatist organizations. Our current manpower is simply not enough. Hearing what Phil Coulson said, Natasha Romanoff seconded, please ask the director for support. Agent May has found clues, and we must act quickly. After hearing so much bad news, Phil Coulson finally heard some good news. His expression was shocked, and he asked eagerly, about the clues, have you found anything? 
The decedents in the previous supernatural cases all came from a mountaineering team that climbed the Rocky Mountains. Most of them are dead. Our current clue is that in Queens, there is still a mountaineering team member named Henry alive. We have asked the protection team to protect him. After understanding the whole story, Phil Coulson knew that it was not too late, otherwise it would be difficult to deal with some variables, so he immediately said, then let's meet this Henry. Okay, guys, let's go now. 20 minutes later, six special Cadillacs of the Shield Anomaly Handling Unit stopped near a Shield Safe House in Queens, New York. Phil Coulson, Melinda, Sky, Natasha Romanoff, and three other agents from Phil Coulson's team met the witness in the interrogation room of the safe house. It's just that when Phil Coulson saw this witness named Henry, his eyes were dull, his expression was terrified, he kept muttering something, and his spirit almost collapsed. Seeing this, Phil Coulson frowned and looked at the agent of the protection team and asked, what's wrong with him? Well, he's been like this since we got him under guard. The psychiatrist has examined him, but the situation still hasn't improved. Phil Coulson took a deep breath, then sat across from Henry, and asked, Mr. Henry, can you tell me what happened to your mountaineering team? We are federal agents, and I promise to protect you. Safety. Hearing what Phil Coulson said, Henry raised his head tremblingly, and asked in an uncertain tone, really? I promise, you should at least trust the Federation. Give me a cigarette, please. The agent at the side threw him a pack of cigarettes, Henry took out a cigarette with slightly trembling hands, lit it tremblingly, took a deep breath of the cigarette, and recalled it with lingering fear on his face. On the third of this month, a group of mountaineering enthusiasts organized a mountaineering activity. After returning, strange things gradually happened. Seeing this, Phil Coulson was puzzled, did something strange happen after you came back? What happened? Hearing what Phil Coulson said, Henry said with extreme fear, it seems to be a photo. After Athena, one of our female players, developed the photo that day, strange things happened frequently. Anyone who saw the photo collection at that time was dead, that monster will definitely come. Athena was the first to die, hell, she must have provoked something like a witch, you must protect me. It seems that at this point, Henry seemed to have been greatly stimulated, and his spirit became abnormal again. At this time, Natasha Romanoff came in and said, Phil Coulson, we have already found out that Athena has a husband. At the moment is near Vegas. We asked the agent to protect it. Just after finishing speaking, Natasha Romanoff's cell phone rang suddenly, she frowned, and then connected the call. On the other end of the phone, Chen Feng's voice came. Natasha Romanoff was already used to the supernatural powers of the Foundation, she didn't even want to guess how Chen Feng got his own mobile phone number, and didn't bother to ask him why he had his own mobile phone number. Agent Natasha Romanoff. To make a long story short, let your agents near Vegas give up their targets and retreat immediately, or it will be too late. What? Mr. Chen Feng, please explain clearly, why do you want to evacuate? If I'm not mistaken, what you are investigating is containment 096. Your strength in Vegas cannot resist 096 at all. As soon as he finished speaking, the communication was suddenly interrupted inexplicably. It's electromagnetic interference. Sir, the safe house is under attack. Hurry up and evacuate the witnesses, it must be a chaos splitter. While talking, outside the shield safe house in Queens, SHIELD's agents had already engaged in a fierce gun battle with the chaos separatists. Due to the attack by the Chaos Separatists, Phil Coulson had to immediately decide that Phil Coulson's team and others should transfer the witness Henry. After leaving behind a certain defensive force, they hurriedly left through another evacuation channel of the safe house. Not long after, Phil Coulson, the widow and Sky, May's agent, took the surviving witness Henry to the new safe house in a bulletproof Cadillac. Taking a breather, Phil Coulson asked, Agent Natasha Romanoff, did you get a call from Chen Feng just now? As for Chen Feng, although Phil Coulson has heard of his name, he has actually never met him at all, only read his superficial information. The existence of this suspected high-level Foundation commander has long attracted the attention of S.H.I.E.L.D. Phil Coulson, who is the chief officer of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Exception Handling Force, also attaches great importance to Chen Feng. He knew that Natasha Romanoff and Sky had met Chen Feng last time, so he was very concerned about Chen Feng's call. 
Natasha Romanoff had a thoughtful look in her eyes, and raised her head when she heard Phil Coulson's words, and replied, he mentioned that our agents in Vegas need to be evacuated, but our defense forces there are very sufficient. Phil Coulson laughed nonchalantly when he heard the words, isn't that Mr. Chen Feng a bit whimsical? The witness on the Vegas side is protected in a small secret stronghold of S.H.I.E.L.D., even if it is a powerful gun it is impossible for mechanized infantry regiments to simply break through there. It seems that he still doesn't know enough about the power of S.H.I.E.L.D. As far as we know, the Beast of Thousand Throats, which the Foundation calls Anomalous Containment 939, even if that monster attacks that stronghold head-on, it will die with hatred. As the Hydra agent of the Ghost in the team, Grant Ward smiled slightly, with a mocking expression on his face. The Foundation has been silent for so long, I'm afraid that the last containment 939 has already seriously injured them, right? It still depends on our shield. Their National Strategic Security Bureau is just a declining intelligence department, and he can only get some outdated information. Natasha Romanoff agent, Sky agent, I think you put the Foundation it's too strong to describe. Is it possible that they are not as powerful as we thought? Seeing this, Sky snorted coldly, the Foundation uses mortal bodies to contain abnormalities. Even if you say they are a declining organization, they sacrificed for human beings. What right do you have to tarnish their honor like this? It's just winners and losers, which means that they have no qualifications, and they don't have that ability. Will the storage be handed over to us in the future? Sky glared at Grant immediately, and the widow didn't give him a good look, and the atmosphere turned cold instantly. When Phil Coulson saw his subordinates arguing, he couldn't help smoothing things over, okay, okay, don't fight over these things. Then Phil Coulson delivered his verdict directly, ending their debate. In Vegas, we just need to remind them to be careful. I think the most dangerous ones should be those chaos splitters, not the containment objects this time. After all, we have all seen the combat power of the contained objects. Monsters like the 939,000 Ma Beast in the contained object can kill them even with a large caliber sniper rifle. The defense we have in Vegas is solid. Even if there is a containment object, even if it is a monster like a big lizard like in the movie, our firepower there can blow it up. Don't worry too much, everyone. Definitely, the Foundation reminded us with good intentions. Grant, how can you maliciously slander the superiors of the friendly department? After Phil Coulson finished rounding the field, Sky and Grant did not continue to quarrel. Sky snorted and turned his head to continue looking at the scenery outside the window. Unbeknownst to Phil Coulson, just after he finished speaking, an uninvited visitor came to the secret shield stronghold in Vegas. In the middle of the night, on a farm far away in Vegas, several heavily armed shield armed guards are patrolling. This is the secret stronghold of S.H.I.E.L.D. Today, a witness was transferred to this stronghold for guarding, so the guards stepped up their vigilance. A patrolling guard suddenly stopped in his tracks. He looked at the bottom of the wall in confusion, and there seemed to be a suspected human-shaped existence approaching the wall. Hey man, there seems to be something in there. Hearing his words, the guards on the side also stopped, and the two carefully observed the suspected human-shaped black figure below. It was suspected to be 2.4 meters high, and the arms and body were seriously out of proportion, like a severely malnourished person. When the guard saw the, human figure, clearly, he couldn't help murmuring. WTF. What kind of monster is this? His skin was extremely pale, without any pigment on his skin, he was as thin as skin and bones, his arms were slender with sharp and slender nails, and his narrow and disproportionate jaw showed that this was not human at all. It seemed that the monster found that the two people saw his appearance clearly, and suddenly he seemed to be in great sorrow, and then he covered his face with his hands, and screamed and cried, sending out an inarticulate expression, the sound of. The two armed guards of S.H.I.E.L.D. felt goosebumps and their hairs stood on end. Shet, it seems, rushed over. In the next second, the shy man in containment 096 appeared in front of the two armed guards at an extremely terrifying speed. Terrible howls and screams sounded, and the sirens rang loudly at the secret stronghold of S.H.I.E.L.D. Vegas. 2B, what's going on with the shy person in Containment 096? Report Commander, Containment 096 is attacking the S.H.I.E.L.D. Vegas stronghold frantically. Correct the image and send it out. 
OK Commander, the corrected image has been uploaded. In front of Chen Feng, there was an image of containment 096 Shy Man massacring in the Shield Vegas stronghold, but its face was all mosaicked. Chen Feng picked up the file report of the Foundation's containment, and saw a description of containment 096 clearly written on it. Containment 096 Shy Man, a humanoid creature approximately 2.38 meters tall. Subject has little muscle mass, and preliminary weight analysis indicates mild malnutrition. The arms are grossly disproportionate to the body, each approximately 1.5 meters long. Most of the skin is completely free of pigment and no hair on the body surface. Containment 96's jaw opening can be up to four times the normal jaw opening of an average human. Apart from the lack of pigment in the eyes, the rest of the facial features are similar to those of ordinary humans. Containment 096 is generally very docile and harmless, however, when someone sees SCP-96's face, either directly, through a video, or even through a photograph, it will enter a state of severe distress. When it becomes extremely sad, and then goes berserk, Containment 096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and making inarticulate sounds. Just like the witch in Left 4 Dead, she rushed to 096 one desperately and killed him. 096-1 refers to the victim who saw the face of containment 096. The berserk container 096 will arrive at 35 km per hour. Varies in km per hour, and seems to depend on the distance from containment 096-1. At the moment, no known material or method can stop SCP-096 from advancing, and 096 seems to have a natural ability to perceive 096-1's location. And in the process of 096 killing 0961, 0961 will not leave any traces, and the containment 096 will return to a calm and docile state a few minutes after killing 0961, and then it will try to return to, to its natural habitat. Due to the potential of the subject to trigger a massive chain reaction, including breach of foundation secrecy and loss of civilian life, recovery of the subject should be considered a level A priority. Chen Feng put down the Foundation's containment file with a blank expression. These files are roughly the same as the Foundation materials he had seen in his previous life, and this is the first time he can observe the images of containment 096 in reality. So 2B, who possesses the high-tech electronic warfare ability, hacked into the shield system long ago, and controlled all the monitoring, and changed all the images of the face of the contained object 096 in the monitoring into a mosaic. Otherwise, once the video with his facial image is leaked, God knows how many people will die. But Chen Feng didn't know that everyone in S.H.I.E.L.D. was looking at the same video as himself. Phil Coulson just said that the S.H.I.E.L.D. stronghold is solid, and the S.H.I.E.L.D. stronghold in Vegas has a big problem. Nick, Fury at the moment was watching S.H.I.E.L.D.'s agents and armed guards being frantically massacred by containment 096 shy man in the S.H.I.E.L.D. stronghold in Vegas with a grim face. Whether it's all kinds of light and heavy firearms, or even heavy weapons such as heavy machine guns, Gatling machine guns, and bazooka launchers, they can't stop the progress of the contained object 096 the shy person. All shield defense forces blocked in front of containment 096 the shy man were ruthlessly destroyed. Just at the moment, looking at the mosaic, Nick. Fury became angry. What the hell is going on? Our surveillance has been hacked, and the containment is killing our people, and now we can only see a mosaic. This is a disgrace to S.H.I.E.L.D. Nick. Fury looked fiercely at Phil Coulson and others from Stereo Image Communication, and slammed the table. I need someone to find out who the hell hackers got into our system. If it's the scum calling themselves Chaos Splinters, kill them all. Shame, shame, shame. Our people are being slaughtered. I, the chief, can only stand by and watch. Phil Coulson, give me a way to get rid of that fool. Phil Coulson on the communication side wiped the cold sweat from his brow, and replied, Director Nick, according to our information, this is called 096 shy person's containment by the foundation, and it seems that its main goal is to kill everyone who sees a man climbing a photo. We also have two witnesses who have been urgently transferred from Queens to two secret shield strongholds. We can deploy stronger defense forces in these two strongholds. And we will let the spy satellite continue to track the shy person in the containment 096. As it advances, we will mobilize military support to completely destroy it with powerful firepower, and wash away the shame of shield. 
After hearing Phil Coulson's reply, Nick Fury's anger dissipated a lot. Good plan, Phil Coulson, with the military's firepower superiority, we can definitely eliminate this monster, anyway, shield plus the military's firepower, the advantage is mine. Do it well, Phil Coulson. Finally, I hope that within three days, I will meet that hacker. After finishing the communication, Phil Coulson heaved a sigh of relief and loosened his sweat-soaked tie. I saw a few agents on the side watching their noses, their noses watching their hearts, and Natasha Romanoff and Sky were still engrossed in watching 096 walk towards the witnesses who were tightly protected by the last line of defense. Natasha Romanoff shook her head and sighed, it's over. Five minutes later, the last vitality of the Shield Vegas stronghold was exhausted, and the witnesses protected by Shield were killed in the tightly guarded stronghold. At this time, Nick Fury stared at the 096 shy man who destroyed the entire Shield Vegas stronghold. I saw this guy covered in a mass of mosaics in the video, straight and straight. It directly destroyed the reinforced concrete structure and various super heavy alloy protective doors in the base like tofu. Then it came to the outskirts of the base, and then containment 096 started running towards one place at an incredible speed. Where is it going, Nick? Fury looked at the intelligence analyst next to the command room. The analysis officer, a blonde woman with glasses in an OL uniform, raised her glasses, and quickly typed on the keyboard to reply. Sir, according to the path analysis, it seems to be going to the location of witness no. 2. Then, the glasses OL analyst exclaimed, its speed has reached 328 kmh, which is equivalent to a supercar. At this speed, it will arrive at the location of witness number 2 in only 3 hours and 25 minutes. Have you contacted the military with Phil Coulson? We need to stop this containment 096 immediately. It seems to be moving in a straight line, and witness 2 needs to take a helicopter to change the location, so that 096 avoids the city and enters no man's land. Sir, I've sent orders to Agent Phil Coulson and Protection Team 2. Sir, it seems that Containment 096 is modifying its route, and it was successfully led to no man's land by us. Nick. Fury immediately switched the communication to Phil Coulson and asked, Phil Coulson, how is your situation? Sir, we have contacted the military. The military will dispatch two gunboats and six A-10 Warthog attack aircraft in the air. We will intercept him at an intermediate node in Vegas. We will be able to successfully intercept it. Very good. Phil Coulson, let's definitely beat the 096 with a firepower density like Van Fleet's ammunition. Shield they will definitely fail this time. At the D-level military base of the New York Foundation, Chen Feng rested his chin on both hands, staring at the screen quietly, like a spectator who has already known the ending, and calmly stated his conclusion. Miss 2B calmly stood behind him and served the freshly made latte. Commander, since S.H.I.E.L.D. is doing useless work, why don't you stop their actions and let the MTF Mobile Task Force directly contain 096? Hearing 2B's doubts, Chen Feng sighed, that's because human beings have never been creatures that can learn from the lessons of history. If they don't experience setbacks, they won't understand their immaturity. In the real-time video at this time, the screen turned and came to the open space in the Vegas desert. At the moment the military radio was heard in the picture, and a powerful attack formation composed of two AC-130 aerial gunships and six A-10 warthogs appeared in the sky. This is the warthog attack formation. We have arrived at the attack area and found the target. Can we start the attack? Attack allowed, fire freely until the target is destroyed. Warthog received, formation is about to enter combat position. All units disarm their weapons and start attacking freely. As soon as the words fell, 12 high explosive air to ground missiles were shot out from the wing pylons in an instant, and accurately hit the human figure in the high speed movement with trailing flames. After being hit by the terrifying explosion, this figure seemed to disappear in the thick smoke and flames of the explosion. Looking at this scene, the flight crew said in an uncertain tone, target destroyed. The next second, that figure appeared, it seemed to ignore the iron guys attacking it in the sky, and continued to run at a steady previous speed. What kind of monster is this? Keep firing. Repeat. Keep firing. As soon as the words fell, three AC-130G aerial gunboats fired wildly. 
The 105mm automatic cannons, 35mm cannons, and 7.62mm cannons on the gunboats were all attacking crazily. The A-10 Warthogs continued to fire the air-to-surface missiles, and even after all the air-to-surface missiles had been fired, they approached the ground and dropped the 1,000-pound bombs with precision. However, even if the desert on the ground was bombed to be riddled with holes like the surface of the moon, the progress of 096 was not delayed at all. He is still unswervingly advancing at the steady speed of 328 kmh. The Paladin self-propelled artillery and M270 rocket launcher of the artillery regiment are in place. We are ready for a saturation attack at any time. Fire. Fire. Be sure to stop the target. Target unit. Three cardinal fire strikes. Fire. The federal military has already begun to use ground artillery units. The deafening artillery sounds and the thick smoke in the attack area can be seen clearly even in small towns dozens of kilometers away. The federal people who don't know even think that the federal army has started to fight aliens again. The desert in the attacked area was even blasted into magma, and the sand was burned into glass, but 096 was still advancing at a speed of 328 kmh. Nick. Fury and Phil Coulson at the moment are no longer as full of confidence as before, but dazed and uneasy. Under such a firepower density, it didn't stop 96's progress at all. Could it be that tactical nuclear weapons can only be used to hinder its progress? Ten minutes later, a B-2 bomber flew over 96's head. A blazing white light like the sun appeared, followed by a mushroom cloud slowly rising. All the images were invalidated by the EMP interference from the nuclear explosion until the images returned to normal again. Nick. Fury and Phil Coulson saw the 096 still traveling at 328 kilometers h. All S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA who saw this scene became suspicious. What kind of monster are we fighting? Seeing the dissipating mushroom cloud on the screen, and the moving object 096, all bystanders knew that S.H.I.E.L.D. was powerless to stop 096. Chen Feng put down the happy water, and said lightly, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s defense line has been breached. 2B has the task force ready, and they can act now. Miss 2B played the role of adjutant very dutifully and said, All right commander, I will pass on your instructions right away. Whether it's Nick, Fury or Phil Coulson, they now have a whole new understanding of what's contained. It's unbelievable that a creature, and a living body with a file size similar to that of a human, can not only run at a speed comparable to a supercar. What's even more frightening is that even the nuclear weapons that human beings are proud of can't stop it at all. Can we defeat such a monster? All of us at SHIELD are plunged into deep self-doubt. Instead, the people at Hydra were very excited. Such a powerful containment, such a powerful 096, if anyone controls it, wouldn't it be the control of a terrifying super weapon? That's not invincible. In the Foundation Paradise Island base at, at the moment, there is a huge underground hangar with flashing alarm lights. This is the air base of the Foundation's Class A headquarters on Paradise Island, and a mobile task force is already ready to go. Accompanied by the dark red light of the warning light, a group of soldiers wearing black combat uniforms, loaded with live ammunition, and armed to the teeth lined up in 10 queues. They are the cornerstone of the Foundation, MTF Mobile Task Force. MTF Mobile Task Force Designation NU-7, Hammerdown. The Armed Mobile Task Force, Hammerfall, is a battalion-sized division consisting of three special infantry, a mechanized armored battalion, and a heavy tank company. There is also a helicopter group, a chemical biological radiological nuclear, CBRN, company, a combat engineer battalion, a nuclear weapons specialist NWS team, and a brigade-sized mobile task force of additional combat specialists and support personnel. Around them were infantry fighting vehicles, tanks, armored vehicles, and logistical vehicles. Behind them are 48 V44X Blackfish and 8 AH-99 heavy attack helicopters with countless various equipment, ammunition and weapon boxes. If there is any shield agent here, I am afraid he will exclaim, because the equipment of these soldiers and the vehicles in the base are at least 20 years ahead of S.H.I.E.L.D. At the moment they are ready to go and their fighting spirit is high. The commander of Mobile Task Force Hammer Fall, at the moment, is briefing the task force's key officers. According to the highest instruction of the director of the foundation, 
the Hammerfall Task Force needs to act and go to a farm outside New York to contain 096. Confirm again, this operation of the mission includes two parts, namely the Special Containment Operations part and the Security Intervention part. The containment force will contain 096, and other security forces need to be responsible for guarding the enemy. Based on credible intelligence, our enemies may have chaos insurgents waiting in the dark. In order to ensure that mass civilian deaths are not triggered, we will go out first, Commander Chen Feng said, and will deploy Hell Paratrooper Task Force as our backup. But what I want to say is, let them serve as backup, this time the mission only needs to use our hammer drop is enough. The task briefing is complete, MTF, do you have any questions, Chief Officers? No problem sir. Then go back to your respective teams and deliver the mission briefing, we're about to set off. Confirmation completed. At the moment the green light is on, indicating that the base is ready to attack, and the task force commander doesn't want to talk too much nonsense. Immediately issued a sortie instruction. It's the green signal. The special advance team is leaving. Hurry up, board the plane. You can go, you can go. The takeoff director waved the flag in his hand, and then the ground crew in yellow reflective vests gave the Hercules flight a thumbs up. Then the roar of huge engines of 12 V-44 Blackfish as the advance team sounded. As the advance team, the special containment force will set off first to start the containment operation and fly to New York. Somewhere on the coastal level of Paradise Island, the platform of the base opened, and then one after another V-44X Blackfish took off along the underground runway and took off into the sky one after another. Immediately after about 20 minutes, the second batch of armored vehicles was loaded, and the remaining 36 V-44X Blackfish transport helicopters in the tank took off one after another. With the radar turned on deliberately, a huge fleet appeared in the airspace near Los Angeles, and flew towards New York at high speed. Not long after, in New York, Phil Coulson received a report from his men. What? Found a large number of unidentified flight objects. Is the Foundation dispatched? He immediately made a phone call. Sir Nick, it seems that the Foundation's air power is dispatched. Nick. Fury answered the phone, heard the news, and said in a trembling voice, what Foundation is dispatched? Then he let out a long sigh. I can only leave it to them, that monster, is not something humans can defeat at all, can he really be contained? After seeing the huge fleet of the Foundation. Nick Fury and Phil Coulson didn't look relieved at all, but looked dignified. Nick Fury and Phil Coulson are both military experts. So when they saw the Foundation V-44X Blackfish transport helicopter, they guessed that the Foundation would use ground forces to contain 096. Because so many V-44X Blackfish transport helicopters were dispatched, they must be dispatched to ground troops. Are the people in the Foundation crazy? Why did they send out ground troops to die? Even good old Phil Coulson from S.H.I.E.L.D. couldn't help but exclaim. It couldn't help that he wasn't surprised by the behavior of the Foundation. Containment 096, which can withstand even nuclear weapons, is still afraid of your conventional weapons. If you dispatch a large number of ground troops, isn't that an act of death? How could the Foundation be so reckless? Nick Fury and Phil Coulson originally thought the Foundation was here to save the scene, but who knew it was here to die? L. The last trace of luck in the hearts of the two disappeared without a trace the moment they saw the Foundation fleet. Originally, SHIELD's containment operation this time had the intention of testing the Foundation. They originally thought that even if the containment failed, the Foundation would still have the bottom line. If the Foundation pretends to be dead but doesn't know the truth, it means that the strength of the Foundation is not as strong as S.H.I.E.L.D. imagined. Even if the containment failed, S.H.I.E.L.D. would have reason to submit a request to the White Eagle Federation to take over the Foundation. At that time, if they can be allowed to take over the Foundation, they will naturally make a lot of money. No matter how bad it is, they can ask the Foundation to share the information on the contents, and take away some of the resources that were originally intended for the National Strategic Security Bureau. In this way, no matter how much sacrifice is made, it is worthwhile, it is simply blood money. Although Nick Fury is the head of S.H.I.E.L.D., it is reasonable to say that he belongs to the good side of order, but as S.H.I.E.L.D. director, he often only cares about gains and losses, and he is even a sophisticated politician. When it was time to sacrifice, he was very decisive. 
It is worthwhile to use hundreds of lives to test the power of the foundation, so what's the matter with dying? After all, for the sake of justice, even if he sacrificed himself, he would not blink his eyes. But after all the calculations, I never thought that S.H.I.E.L.D. had the bottom line, but what S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't expect was that they planned to dispatch a large number of ground troops. This is the containment 096 that can withstand nuclear bombs. What is the use of your ground troops? Can you contain it? S.H.I.E.L.D. dispatched AC-130 aerial gunships, a squadron of Apache attack helicopters, and a squadron of A-10 ground attack aircraft. A group of self-propelled howitzers, a group of brigade-level M270 rocket launchers were used, and finally a B-2 bomber was used to drop a 5,000-ton equivalent tactical nuclear weapon. Such blows have no effect on the contained object 096, and they can only return without success in the end. You will dispatch so many people recently. Is it useful for special forces to contain 096 shy people? Isn't it a gift for the shy people in 096? S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Federal Military jointly operated and mobilized such a powerful firepower configuration, but they all declared containment failure. Your foundation uses these conventional military forces to contain 096 shy people who are physically resistant to nuclear bombs. Still works. Can it be contained successfully? Even, Nick. Fury was already shaking his head when he saw it, and he had a sense of seeing that Prime Minister Sao imitated Zug village Fu Shaoji. Black Braised Egg couldn't help mocking, the Foundation has gone crazy. The anomalous containment that doesn't have any effect on nuclear weapons even sent special forces to die. Don't they understand that this is a suicide mission? The assistant on the side, Pierce, also echoed, it's a mission that is doomed to fail. It's a pity for those good guys. They still participate in the mission knowing that it is a suicide mission. Hearing Pierce's words, Nick. Fury couldn't help showing a look of regret, they are all very good fighters. It's a pity that the Foundation will throw them out like this to die. Although he denied the Foundation's decision, Nick. Fury still affirmed the bravery of the Foundation's mobile task force. Even opponents would admire this kind of fighter who knew he was going to die. It's just that if this is the case, how will S.H.I.E.L.D. propose it at that time? Take over the Strategic Security Agency. On the other hand, Pierce paid more attention to the Foundation. It is indeed a powerful and ancient organization that dares to use sacrifices when necessary. Chen Feng is a non-toxic, unruly, and extremely decisive commander. Looking at this posture, thousands of people, an elite unit at the level of a synthesis brigade, will be sent away as soon as they say it. Whether it's Nick, Fury or Pierce, at the moment their idea is to abandon the car and save the handsome. This is obviously a ZZ show operation, and it is impossible to contain it successfully anyway. S.H.I.E.L.D. has killed so many people in order to contain 096. If the Foundation does not act, S.H.I.E.L.D. will naturally have an excuse. But the Foundation is obviously playing tricks. Oh, you S.H.I.E.L.D. killed so many people and paid such a high price to contain 096, but the Foundation also sent so many people out to contain it. When the Foundation suffered heavy casualties due to containment failure, Ushield ran to propose to the Federation to take over the Foundation. Isn't this bullying honest people? Although Shield is large enough, but the Federation has not yet reached the level of covering the sky with one hand, and other forces in the Federation with such an ugly face will definitely have serious resistance to this kind of behavior. However, whether it is a Shield director like Nick, Fury who will do anything for justice, a seasoned agent chief like Coles, or an old scumbag like Pierce. No one thinks that the Foundation can contain 096 shy people who are physically resistant to nuclear weapons by sending conventional forces. Even thought of the action as a ZZ show in response to S.H.I.E.L.D. Nobody believed the Foundation could succeed, except the MTFs. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.